assalamu alaikum class hope you are good so class i am revising you all the critical points which we have studied in the subject international marketing the reason behind explaining it again is that you may able to perform very well in your final examination so starting with the first concept that is very necessary called international marketing so in simple words international marketing is the application of marketing principle to across national borders okay that would be known as international marketing okay the next point which we are going to study is okay uh, i am uh, giving you a formal definition of international marketing that is international marketing or global marketing refers to marketing carried out by companies overseas or across national boundaries this uh, this strategy uses an extension of the techniques used in the home country of a firm that would be known as international marketing okay the micro context what is the micro context of international marketing the points involve organizational and consumer behavior and the subheadings are organizational buying behavior international negotiations consumer behavior and country of origin we are okay the next point is market marketing and tradition so there are two modes Uh, initial mode of entry and specific mode of entry and in specific mode of entry there are more two points that would be known as exporting and joint ventures okay the next is marketing mix uh, what do you mean by marketing mix as you all have studied in the subject principles of marketing about the marketing mix i am revising it uh, to you again that are product policy advertising pricing and distribution okay global strategy what do you mean by global strategy and global strategies are involved in international marketing and these are known as competitive strategy strategic alliance global sourcing multinational performance in competitive strategy conceptual de- development involve it involves conceptual development or competitive advantage versus competitive positioning and sources of competitive advantage and performance implication in strategic alliance what we learn is learning and trust receipt for alliance source success and performance of different type of alliances then in global sourcing global sourcing in service context benefit of global sourcing is discussed country of origin issues in global sourcing is discussed or uh, in in multinational uh, performance determination of performance is uh, learned and a different interpretation of performance is studied okay analytical what are the analytical techniques in cross national research that uh, that we uh, are going to revise measurement issues and reliability and validity issue okay and macro approach okay there are two main approaches to global segmentation that is macro approach and micro approach in macro approach countries can be seen as segments i am giving you an example there will only be a large market for expense uh, expensive pharmaceuticals in countries with certain income level and entry opportunities into infant clothing will be significantly greater in countries with large and growing birth rates there are however significant differences within countries for example although it was thought that the italian market would demand no frills in expensive washing machine while german consumer would insist on high quality very reliable one it was found that more unit of inexpensive kind were sold in germany than in italy although many german consumer fit the predictive profile that for large segment differences within that country these are the examples of macro approach 
thus uh, i hope uh, for today it is more than enough read it understand it and if you find any difficulty then do ask me on my whatsapp number i hope uh, you will revise it very well because these are all the topics we have studied before i am revising it to you uh, it to you for your better understanding thank you so much allah hafiz